So let's talk about recovery after. You finished the race, you're done, you're exhausted, but you did it. And that's Definitely. the best part. That's the best feeling when you get that medal and that Definitely. you did it. That was my moment of, oh, I'm so happy, but we need to start recovering. Right. So stretching is really important. What stretches do you recommend and why are they so important? Well, it's like we were saying earlier. So you want to start off by cooling down. So, you know, you don't necessarily just stop. You, you know, make your little laps or whatever and you do it slow. But then there is a lot to be said about stretching after you exercise because it gives you actually more of an opportunity to help stretch out the muscles because the muscles are already warmed up. Exactly. Now, I know you can't show us right now physically, but uh, can you at least kind of paint a picture for us of some stretches that you would say for the leg? Sometimes they say go against a wall and stretch your calf muscle. What do you suggest? No, I mean, definitely. Patients? So, I mean, that's a common thing to stretch your calf out. I think that works out fine. I mean, you're, you've got your simple stretches to stretch out your quadriceps and your hamstring. Those are good. You may want to stretch out your groin at the same time, too, to make sure that you don't stre strain your groin. And what about those foam rollers? I see a lot of people sometimes after a race, yep. uh, I don't have them, but they're, they're, they're just rolling them out. Right. I'm not so, even sure what they're, they're made out of foam, right? Right. So I, I don't know if we can go back to this, this thing. But, our $6 million uh, yeah, man? But Let's go back to our $6 million man, our 3D I'll image. Try to turn it. So <laughs> see what I can do here. So basically the foam roller is here. So what you're doing is you're stretching out this muscle here and that's good. It gives you uh, relief in two different areas. So one is one of those areas that you get the IT band syndrome is down here by the knee. The other is you can get trochanteric bursitis, which is another bursitis, and that's up at the hip. And the way to avoid that is if you stretch out this muscle, I mean, the, the thing actually says the name of the muscle there, so that's nice, but uh, let's see if I can get the IT band there. It's, it's right there. No, uh -huh. no, missed. There it is. So, so what you're doing is you're functionally stretching out this muscle here, and that, that helps relieve any kind of pain you get there and there. And that really is important because if not, then what can happen? You could aggravate it? Oh, you'll get, again, you'll get either knee pain or hip pain. That's what you get if you have too tight tensor fascia lock.